good everyone and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to add this animation blurry effect on your rendered images so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my file where i actually kept the image i want to use so i'm going to be dragging in our image to the already opened photoshop here so i'm just going to drag it on okay so now we have in the photoshop interface the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and i'm going to click on duplicate layers so you can name the layer whatever i want to name it i'm just going to name it as blur blur and leave it like that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go under this filter tab here and we're going to add the blur effect click on filter go to blur click on motion blur and we're just going to add it so now we've clicked on motion blur it will give us the option to increase the intensity of the blur so we can actually increase it to this level and i think this is okay okay i don't want it to be too much but i think this is fine so now we don't want our image to be totally blur like this what are we going to do we are going to click on this blur layer make sure we have selected this blur layer hold alt on our keyboard and we are going to max this layer by clicking this tab over here while holding the alt key so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go to this brush tool over here you can just right click and make sure it's the regular brush tool once we've selected this brush tool we'll actually have the option to increase the size of the brush radius so i think it's all right this way we're going to make sure this white box is on top is at the top we could switch it but i'm going to make sure this white is on top so i'm just going to brush over this area where the car is located thus giving us our motion animation effect in the image so finally to refine to export the image we'll go to file we'll go to export export as and we're just going to save it okay let me just save it as a and save it so as you can see this is the first image and this is the image after we added the effect so this is how to simply or let me put it on a bigger screen so this is the first image here and this is the image after the blur effect so this is how to simply add the animation blur effect on your rendered images after your finished rendering during post-production so if this video was helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel for more content like this it's just easy just do it also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you and have a nice day